Folks, this is Jake, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. I wouldn't say, call, I wouldn't, cons God darn it, I hit myself with Sharpie. I wouldn't call, consider myself a, like a, it'll come off. I wouldn't consider myself like a super fan of KSI, but I have kept up with him over the years as he's exploded, even before um, he boxed, um, and beat Logan Paul. Even before then, like, he's one of the people that inspired me to, like, start getting into making videos. But, um, I do know that sometimes in the past he's had video recordings of him snapping on people or fighting people. So, the title really caught my attention. It was like every time KSI turned to Super Saiyan. So, I just thought I'd check it out because it might, I don't know, it might give me a laugh, give me a smile. Um, I would, I would watch this if I wasn't making videos, so let's see. This must have been right when him and Joe Rella was, you know how they do those conference things before leading up to the fight just to build excitement. I don't like it when they put... I like how, I don't like how they like splash this little, the literal audio. I don't, how the heck does this have 15 million views? I don't like how they splash the whole audio over, over everything and you can't really hear anything, you know? But I do like, um, what I was going to point out with that last clip was how he, if they had a backed up and looked at the original clip, instead of like bringing it so up close, you would see that KSI like, Literally threw that guy almost to the point to where his feet came off the ground. That was a Super Saiyan moment. Hold on. I believe this is what started all that. Hold up. Oh, yeah, that's when he called out the Logan Pauls after he beat Joella. Yeah, I remember that. It's funny seeing how KSI is the main reason Jake Paul and Logan Paul even got started boxing in the first place. Nobody really points that out. Like, they were literally the first ones to do this. Unless low-key there was, like, different influencers that did it before them that inspired them to box. But as far as I know, like, this was the first first one that was actually, like, um, you know, where they put the event together, people came out, and influencers boxed for entertainment. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, whatever Paul, I don't care. Yeah, he literally had Tentacion song playing over the entire video. That was... I mean, I guess people and people just since KSI has such like a big following, people would sit through and watch this anyways because that video had 15 million views. But like, I don't like it when I remember a friend of mine had brought me to the I know I'm all, all over the place. Bear with me. I had a friend of mine bring me to the studio one time and he was asking me for my personal opinion on his new song that he put out. And before he put it out. I said, I like it. I love the lyrics, but there's one problem. Um, some people like it when they can barely hear the words. And, you know, there's actually some rappers out there that do it on purpose. Um, that blur out their words and let the beat overwhelm 
um, you being able to hear anything specific, and I hate that. I hate it in regular videos, and I hate it in um, whether whether it's rap or anything. I don't like not being able to hear what's going on, or hearing the lyrics, or hearing any words. It's just really irking to me. But yeah, um, if you guys are vibing with me, and I don't know, y'all like me for whatever reason, I don't know why. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything else you'd like me to check out, leave it down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, that's it. Y'all have a good one.